Welcome back. Let's continue our example of uh, looking at a quadratic time series this time. Uh, we looked at the trend last time. Uh, given these uh, data values, let's uh, first just look at the data. Insert scatter. And we see that it does look like a quadratic uh, could be a good fit for that. If we select a data point, right click, add trend line different options here for a quadratic it would be a polynomial order 2 we'll display the equation on the chart and close that and so you can see what the uh, the coefficients would be uh, for that so let's just uh, just copy those coefficients into some cells that were, were set aside here say the beta 0 the intercept 107.86 uh, beta 1, a minus 28.988, and then beta 2, a 2.6548. We can now just use those coefficients and uh, make our prediction with the, the data that we had. So equals beta 0, we'll fix that with an F4 key as an uh, absolute reference plus beta 1 again fixed times x which would be time period 1 or, or t uh, plus beta 2 again fixed times uh, and then it's times x squared x here is time period 1 and then square it and copy this down the column we can then see how well it, uh, it might work to uh, just do an insert line chart and we can see how closely it's it's matching so it's, uh, it's doing a looks more like a good job predicting that uh, let's look at, at one other way that, that we could develop this model uh, if, uh, if we're using the equals trend model or a function it says known y's, known x's, and new x's so it allows us to look at uh, at multiple x's so in this case because we uh, we know it has a, a quadratic to it we'd want both the uh, the time and the time squared term in there so let's just take the time and make a time squared term so now we've got two columns for our x's and let's go over here and do equals forecast and our I'm sorry equals trend and our known y's are this make that a fixed reference comma known x's are going to be the t and the t squared columns again fix that f4 comma and then the new x's for using uh, this model to make our prediction would be just this first row of both t and t squared and then right parentheses and then if I were to copy that down uh, you can see it does a, also an equally good job of making that prediction so a, a couple of different ways of developing a, a quadratic uh, forecast thanks see you next time